Hi from Arts in the New Gulf. Today I want to show you how I paint and why my paintings take so much time and energy. I started painting this piece more than a half a year ago. In general, there is not much for me to finish here. I mainly need to work a bit on this grass. This is the second day I have been working on this part. When I speak with people who don't know the process of painting a piece, it seems that they think that an artist takes a canvas, sits at his easel and starts to paint for his own pleasure, full of inspiration. I don't know, there are probably some artists like that, but for me it happens a bit differently. For me, generally speaking, it certainly takes work, certainly it's work that gives me pleasure, and I have a great interest in it. But at the same time, it's really work for me. It's not a hobby, entertainment. In general, it's namely dedicated, consistent, laborious work. Of course, when I said that it took me more than half a year, that didn't mean that I woke up every morning, started to paint, finished in the evening, went to sleep, woke up the next morning and continued the work. The thing is that there are some technical features, for example, I had to make a texture here in the foreground to convey these plants, petals, some leaves and such. And to lay all the paint in the same moment, to slap it all in one layer, in such a thick layer of paint, of paint texture, it's not a very good idea, because the painting will instantly start, ok, not instantly, but after some time, the painting will start to crack, to fall apart, that's why I need to grow this texture slowly layer by layer. It's important to put it layer by dry layer. That means that when I create a layer of this texture, I build it and then I need to wait for a while till it dries, and only then I can continue my work. Not following this technique leads to cracks in the paint later. That's why after I finish a part, I sometimes leave it for several weeks. During this time, I can continue some other areas or another piece. That is how the work goes, gradually, layer by layer. This grass which I am painting now, 
I had left it in the underpainting state, as you can see. This is because I choose the color of this grass later, in the comparison with the color of the rest of the landscape. That's why I didn't have to make a colored underlayer for it, because I wanted to first see how the overall coloring of the painting develops. I deliberately left this piece for the end. In the beginning, when the work had just started, all these relations between foreground, background, trees, dog, I tried to grasp them holistically, by color and tone. This way I could see how they match each other. The thing is that in this artwork I posed a task for myself to make a color very close to white, with very close relations. The sky is a bit lighter than the water. This plane differs slightly from this plane in color and tone. Here the dog differs slightly from the water. Everything in this painting is about a tiny bit. In this particular case, I suppose that this restrained light coloring and these tiny bits of differences in nuances, I suppose they'll help me to express calmness and quietness in this work. At least, I hope that it will be perceived in that way by viewers. The grass, which I am painting now, as you can see, I mix for each blade of grass its own color, its own tone. Their color and tone should change in correspondence with their distance from the water. That means that they should be a tiny bit darker in the lower part, closer to the water, and a bit lighter at the upper side. Moreover, the appearance of these grass blades varies firstly according to their various ages, and secondly, as they are all turned differently towards their light source. That's why I want to convey this variety. I mean, it's doubtful if there are any blades of grass in nature which are identical in color and tone. They all differ a bit. Furthermore, I try to use a minimal amount of pigments in my mixes to maintain the durability and color retention of paints. As much as possible. That's why there are so many tints on the palette. Don't think that I prepared a palette looking like this, especially for the video. 
and I am now telling you all these things. Actually, my work really forms from such things. I think that I have to work for around three hours more on this, I suppose. At least I hope so. So, that's how it is. Thank you for your interest. I hope you watched this video till the end and that it was even interesting for you. If you enjoyed the video, visit my site, there you can find out more about painting styles and my own paintings.